going to explain you the practical part of the demonstration of the Archimedes principle by doing a little experiment with rocks and water. The experiment will help us determine the density of each one of three different rocks of various shapes and sizes. By using the formula of the buoyant force exerted on an object that is introduced into a fluid, by the fluid displacement, we will determine the density of each one of the rocks. By calculating the ratios between densities and volumes of rocks and water. So, the Archimedes principle is also called the law of buoyancy. In Spanish, flotabilidad. What does this mean? This means that if an object is submerged into the water, that object is gonna feel a force upwards, making it float. For this experiment, we will use the following materials. A graded measuring cup. Three different rocks of various sizes. A digital scale. And 400 millimeters of water. First, we measure the mass of each one of the rocks using the digital scale. We can observe that with the first rock, has a mass of 0.066 kilograms. The second one has a mass of 0.142 kilograms. And the third one has a mass of 0.175 kilograms. Now, we are going to prepare a graded measuring cup with 400 millimeters of water. Then, we are going to submerge the rocks in the 400 millimeters of water to see the difference in the volume of the water that is going to be pushed upwards after we introduce the rock inside it. We can observe that with the first rock, the water has risen to 450 milliliters, so the difference in the volume is 50 milliliters, or 5 times 10 to the minus 5 cube meters. We can observe that with the second rock, the water has also risen to 450 milliliters, so the difference in the volume is 50 milliliters or 5 times 10 to the minus 5 cube meters. We can observe that with the third rock, the water has risen to 475 milliliters, so the difference in the volume is 75 milliliters or 7.5 times 10 to the minus 5 cube meters. Using the formula of the Archimedes principle, we calculate the buoyant force exerted by the water on the rocks, where V is the volume differential between the level of the water before and after we insert the rock. G is the gravitational acceleration in air that is 9.81 meters over second to the square. Rho is the density of water that is 1000 kilograms divided by cube meter. After those calculations, we can observe that the buoyant force exerted by the water on the first rock is 0.4905 newtons, and the buoyant force in the second one is the same, because both displaced the water 50 milliliters. And for that, the buoyant force exerted by the water on the rock is 0.4905 newtons. The third one had a buoyant force exerted by the water on it of 0.73575 newtons. Now we have to know the weights of each rock in the earth, and for that we will use the Newton second law of motion transformed into the formula of weight, where W is the weight exerted by the rocks in the earth, M is the mass of the rocks. Remembering that the first rock 
had a mass of 0.066 kilograms. The second rock had a mass of 0.142 kilograms, and the third rock had a mass of 0.175 kilograms. And G is the gravitational constant on Earth, which is 9.81 meters over second to the square. After the calculations, we can observe that the weight of the first rock was 0.64746 newtons. The weight of the second rock was 1.39302 newtons. And the weight of the third rock was 1.7Y675 newtons. Now that we know the amounts of buoyant force exerted by the water in the rocks and the weight of them in the earth, we can note the density of the rocks by using the derived formula of the Archimedes principle formula and clear for rho sub index O. So we have where rho sub index O is the density of the object, W sub index O is the weight of the object in earth. Remembering that the first rock had a weight of 0.64746 newton, the second rock had a weight of 1.39302 newtons, and the third rock had a weight of 1.71675 newtons. Rho sub index F, which is the density of the fluid, which is the water, which is a thousand kilograms divided by cube meter. And W sub index F, which is the weight of the buoyant force exerted by the water on the rocks. Remembering that the first and the second rocks had a buoyant force of 0.4902 newtons, and the third rock had a buoyant force of 0.73575 newtons. After those calculations, we can observe that the density of the first rock was 1320 kilograms divided by cube meter. The density of the second rock was 2840 kilograms divided by cube meter and the density of the third rock was 2333 kilograms divided by cube meter. With this, we proved that although the first two rocks displaced the same amount of water in the measuring cup, they had different densities, which was what Archimedes did in the legend of the Golden Crown. And that's our experiment. Thanks for watching! Para terminar este precioso video, le quiero mandar saludos a a Mr. Hugo, a Papi Garza, a Leilania, a Nacheli, a Iliana, a Marcela, a Marci, a Kalimba, a Joa, a Víctor, a Valeria, a Sara, a Toño, a Melanie, a Melanie, a Luis, a Memo, al otro Memo, a Jimena, a Jimena, a Jimena, a Toño, a Giovanna, a Cara, Mara, Eric, Sammy, Abby, Dani, Leo, Javier, Andrea, Eli, Adrián, Irán, Leslie, la otra Le A Mariana, a Led, a Abby, Naomi. Y ya.